hello guys and welcome back in this requested video this is as I told you before I'm gonna make a car that looks that looks similar to the Capri the Ford Capri 2.8 liter and this is the closest body that I could find you already familiar with this body I already made a sport sedan of it but in this one I chose to modify it a little bit you know tilt it from the from the front make it a coupe and tilt it from here to the back give it you know the 80s slash 70s look I don't know what the hell is this plate here and uh, it looks cool actually and I think it will look nice so I'm gonna stick in it the Ford Capri 2.8 liter injection V6 engine in it and this is a requested video by this cool fan his name, fan. His name is Christian Buble Mr. Christian I'm gonna make this one for you and I hope I'm, I hope I will succeed with it so I'm reviewing I'm actually now I'm seeing these the specifications of the engine itself it's, it's nothing special but it's an easy thing to make uh, I'm not sure about the suspension in the back but I chose the smart treading arms I'm not sure if it's a leaf but I'm not sure I'm not I don't think I uh, actually if it's leaf because uh, I'm not sure that European use leaf springs in the back uh, let me check it for a little bit uh, bodywork pictures everything everything looks awesome so I'm gonna use the as, I, as you can see the semi the drilling arms semi drilling arm and double wishbone in front because this is the only option the front longitudinal steel ladder steel pretty normal this is the body as I, as I told you before I'm gonna keep no I'm not gonna keep the the red color I have a particular color in my mind that I want to do Let's see. Yeah, I like it shiny. No, not too much flaky. Yep, and this one I'm gonna call it yummy yellow. Yes, yummy yellow. I like it. And the tires or the or the rims, I'm gonna keep them regular steel. Now, the fixtures of the car. Let's put some. Let's put, let's put simple stuff. Because hello, it's a 1981, as you can see on top. It's 1981. Right. Let me choose. Which one of these is? Right, here we go. And now let's choose the grill in front. Something you know, something cool to match the car itself. Yeah, you think I'm using the same stuff as before? Yes, correct. I'm using the same stuff before because why not? They are looking absolutely awesome on this car. Look at it. Oh, I love classic cars. They look absolutely, they look absolutely amazing. Okay then, so the, the, the logo itself should go here. And the indicator should be going here. Here, I prefer here. And the other one should be also here. I like the angles on this body. Now, let's put the door handles. Pretty, pretty other. Pretty basic, basic stuff. Nothing. Killer. All right then, and now we should put the shoe filler cap. I'm gonna use a. Look, looking absolutely amazing. Classic cars always have the charm. Always. 
Now let me use these tail lights. Okay, and now let's use the tail lights in the back. Need these tail lights, and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to use yeah the same color of the car here. I want to put them here. I'm not really sure about it. Yeah, it looks actually good. Now the license plate should go here. That's absolutely amazing too. Look at it. Amazing looking. And the badge should also go in here. What the hell is this plate here? I cannot move it. Now, the mirrors themselves. Let's put something funky a little bit. Why the hell they are tilted like this? Yep. Look at them. Look at these funky mirrors. Look at these cool. Absolutely amazing. And now the second thing that we should use also the exhaust. I think it has a single exhaust from the factory. Looking amazing too. What else should we use? Did we forget anything? I'm not sure. The antenna. Of course you should have an antenna. Not this one of course because it's 1981. And this is a kind of antenna used in 1981. Okay, so it's looking absolutely amazing. The rims, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna keep keep them the same. No, no. These, no, not these. I'm gonna keep these regular ones. The badges, everything is on. Everything is cool. I really like how it looks. And now let's move on to the next bit, which is the engine. The engine is, as I'm seeing right now, is a 60 degrees V6 engine made cast iron. And let me see the bore and stroke. The bore actually it's big. It's 93 millimeters, and the stroke it's absolutely small. And how the hell is that possible? 93 and well, we have a little problem here. The this website is saying that the bore is 93 and the stroke is 68 and a half. And as you can see, if I put this one to 68 and a half, and I want to put this one, uh, put this bore on 93, it will increase with it. And yes, that's a problem. So we have to assume. Let's see. The the total one is 2,792. All right. So let's use this one. The the original one has 2,792 cc, and this one also has the same one. All right. Yes, and now it has uh, a overhead valve, which means push rods, two valves per cylinder, cast iron also for the heads, cast iron, cast, cast, plus one for good luck, and the original comp compression ratio is 9.2 to one compression ratio. Uh, let's see, 50 plus one for good luck and. Injection single injection. I'm not sure actually because it says here it has a weird in injection system. Let me read it to you. It has a bow, which means Bosch K 
K Jet Fuel Injection. I'm not sure if it's a single point or a mechanical one. But I think this is the correct one. How many throttles does it have? A single one? You know, these words, as you can see here, this word injection were, were you know, in these days, they were absolutely all over the place. The word injection in 1980, the 1980s were something from the future. And now, let me use a performance one, because it looks better. Uh, let's see, 91 or 95. I'm going to use 91, 13 and a half. 37 and the what is it? What is the max RPM? Well, it says here. Let's see where is the power. It says here the maximum torque is 162 pound feet at 4,200 RPM. Oh yes, so the maximum power is at 5,700 RPM. All right, so all right, so we have a single one. Let's use freeway and let's see here. Not 200, of course. This is a this is not too powerful engine. It has only 160 horsepower. So I'm gonna assume 2.2 inches reverse flow straight through and plus one. And straightly the engine is knocking. That's why I'm not sure. Well, these injection, these injection systems are crappy. So let's use 95 and call it a day. It says here it has 160 horsepower. Okay then, so this one is the valve float. Well, I was afraid of that. To have a decent power, you have to put a higher, high quality ones. As you can see here. Alright, so the, so the power should be around 5700 RPM. So let's keep it on 65 and increase the ignition timing and hope for the best. engines are really all right then so we have to use it this way and We need 160 horsepower. So we have 160 horsepower and we need 162 pounds of torque. All right, it's perfect. 160 horsepower and 162 pounds of torque. All right, now this is the original power and torque figures. Let's see it. Let's listen to it also. Sounds absolutely amazing. So let's stick it in. Rear wheel drive, manual, 5 speed gearbox. 
let's see 200 and it has an open one and the plus let's leave it on zero hard long life yes and I already have where is it the original where is it the original tires where is it I think the chassis the chassis itself Yes, it says here it has 205s in front, 205s in the back. Alright, 205s in front, 205s in the back, and it has a. Um, it's 13 inches, correct, and 60, which is. So it's, all right, so it's looking great. 600, so it's correct. All right, 600, the diameter, 13 inches, 205s. Also, the factory corrects ones. Now, let's see. In front, the brakes in front are ventilated discs. One pistons and 250. Yes, it has a ventilated disc in front and drums SLS in the back. The brick diameter in front is it's actually bigger than this. The original brakes has 262 millimeters and this one only 250. So let's put a two piston one for good measures. And the back, it's, it says here 229 or 230. I'm gonna put 230 here and uh, then press next. I'm gonna say semi clad. Break airflow 55 as always. What the hell is happening with the exhaust? The car is looking weird. Four seater standard, standard air track, or let's say basic hydraulic standard. And all right, so the springs should be comfy ones. So progressive guys, not too comfy or sporty. It's a sporty car. Alright, so the car is looking absolutely amazing as you can see. Let me tune it a little bit. Plus 5 here. And the brakes, the brake balance. Alright, so this should be perfect. 54 in front, 46 in the backs. The brakes are freaking fading. Why do you think they are fading? I think because we are using drums in the back because this is the original brakes. As you can see, the factory brakes are crap. So, yes, it's 2.2% the fading. Well, I don't like that really. And as you can see, Putting 200 or 95, let's say 200 here. 195 is better. I'll just leave it like this because the sportiness is important. Magnesium or alloys. No, let's, let's keep the steel ones. As you can see. here and let's see 8.2 seconds 8.2 8.1 7.9 7 7.7 7 .7. all right so 7.7 .7 seconds then now let's tune the, so the suspension but I'm gonna tune it myself Springs are good. No need to play with them. Dampers. Dampers should go for fully on. 
And the dumper here also should go fully on, I think. So leave it like this, and let's lower the let's lower the car a little bit. Plus one, and the car should be ready. Look at the engine, perfectly mounted inside, correct size and everything. I really like it. So as you can see, this is the finished product. It's only 1,107 kilograms, so it's super light. It has good reliability. Um, it's not really economical and somehow comfy and sporty and it's somehow prestigious good to drive and it's good 7.74 seconds I use the bridge the original brakes which fortunately I don't like so let's see it and hear it So the car is, is sounding and it's looking absolutely awesomely well. Um, it's it's a family it's a family sport car or a family coupe as they call it because it has four seats, and uh, that's the goal of the Capri actually. I'm not sure if it's a coupe, but I think the original goal was from the Capri was a family, you know, a worksman, a worksman horse. What the hell is wrong with the body? Look at it. What the hell is looking like this? What a stupid game sometimes it gets. Everything went back to normal. What the hell happened? Oh, I can't see what the hell. I want this to be small. Man, this thing gets weird every day. I swear it gets really, really weird, and I hate that. Oh, 
they really should fix it up and as you can see as you can hear the music stops everything stops and the game gets weird everything went to hell let's see now the music is back and now the music is gone <sighs> come on guys come on developers fix this thing I'm doing it all over again just because of the stupid mistake oh my god the car looks a little bit different from what I have what I had in mind it's now a little bit bigger all right so this is the finished product for products as you can see it looks good it still looks good and it sounds good and the engine is absolutely good and yes the music is going and getting back which is absolutely crap and they should really fix it as fast as they as, as possible as they can so let's look the engine from inside let's see how how it sits how it sits in the car this is the legendary capri 2.8 liter injection v6 it looks absolutely gorgeous with the overhead valves and the injection system awesome so this is the this is the car guys since this is not a capri i'm going to call it something you know cool to so i'm going to call it hmm, i'm going to call it the i don't know the crack all right, Dracula. Why, what are you driving? I'm driving a Dracula. Why not? Dracula V6. Oh, no, no, no. The Dracula 2.8. 2.8, of course, in, in injection, injection. Wow, absolutely legendary. So the, now, so the engine family, of course, it's the Ford Capri. 2.8 in inject. What the hell was the J? Injection. The variant is replica. Absolutely amazing. And the price $10,300 with no profits. With 10% profits, it's Eleven thousand three hundred thirty. I know why you are, why you are wondering why it's only sixty five point two percent selling points because we used here in the engine we used a plus eight uh, camshaft quality so we can hit the exact uh, original power and torque figures. That's why you know the selling points are are very low. As you can see, this car should be in the pony section. Yes, it should be in the pony and family sports section, but with higher selling points. But I want it. I want the engine, the engine to be as original as possible as I can. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Again, thank you so much, Mr. What, remember, let me remember his name. His name is. Is I going to remember? I think it's Christian. Yes, Christian. Yeah, yeah. All right, Christian Buble. That's his name. Thank you so much, Mr. Christian, and I really enjoy always doing these classic cars and I wish uh, when I have when I have another chance of with another close body from the Capri and I will, so then I will make it again thank you so much guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm gonna keep doing the rest of the request after this one thank you so much guys for watching again if you hit that like button that will be amazing and if you like this video of course and if you are not a subscriber consider subscribing and smash that subscribe button and smash that notification bell also and I will see you in another video after this one and bye bye